Hello Virgos! Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Cuban Empress 1111. Um, I am here today to do your reading. Um, I do not have this reading time stamped um, just because I have noticed that a lot of my readings sometimes I'll put like you know the reading for the week and it doesn't manifest until like three months later or two months later so it's very difficult to kind of tell exactly when you know your readings come to fruition so um, I kept it for the month of May so anything that I read I do plan to come back uh, to do more readings you know throughout the month but um, it would definitely portray for the month of May if it happens later or not you know that would be a different thing but you know you guys will know according to your reading and your circumstances in your life you know sometimes you can you guys yourselves know when these things are going to happen sometimes there are energies that have happened or sometimes there are future energies maybe there's things that haven't happened uh take it as it resonates for you of course my readings will not resonate with everyone guys so if it does not resonate you could check your moon sun sign uh, sorry not your sun sign your moon ascendant and your venus signs and uh those uh may resonate sometimes they resonate a little bit more depending on the circumstances you're going through okay if this reading does not resonate or perhaps maybe a future reading will um however i have tapped into your energies today um please like share and subscribe my channel so that this message can get out there and others that need to hear this message will be able to hear it if it doesn't resonate for you leave it to the universe it some other uh, virgo will receive it and we'll be able to relate to this message okay again i read for many different virgos or a lot of virgos out in the world and uh you know it will resonate for someone at some point okay so we're gonna start with your reading okay i want to tell you that virgo uh is a very dear sign to me because i uh am a libra but i'm also virgo cusp so cusp are signs that when you know they're getting out of one sign going into the other sign i was born within those days of the cusp so i have a little bit of virgo in me i identify myself a little bit with virgos um and uh it's also a sign that has shown in my life you know on very grounding energy virgo is an earth sign so they are very grounded okay and uh i will begin your reading today okay i hope that you enjoy again thank you and it's an honor to read for you okay and we'll begin with first card out of the out of the oracle deck that I got today is your third eye chakra. You guys need to open your third eye chakra. You need to see clearly on situations moving forward. Number six may be very significant for you. Maybe somebody's birthday, whatnot. Maybe it may mean something to some of you, okay? Uh, also, out of that same oracle deck, which is the psychic tarot, I have patience and planning. So number seven may be very significant, you know, and a number for me, for example, very significant. It's God's number. Number seven is my favorite number. So <laughs> definitely means something for me. Uh, patience and planning. You guys are definitely planning towards something. Okay. Uh, and very clarified here with holding your vision from the Moonology deck. You got hold your vision. That means you're going towards something. You need to hold your vision. Don't let go of your vision on whatever it is that you're wanting to move forward and do. And you are good enough. And this is actually a full moon in Virgo. Okay? You are good enough. And fixed moon is the other one that came out with the hold your vision. So you are good enough. And you will be able to accomplish anything that you put your mind to and anything that you are looking towards. Okay? I just think you guys might be a little bit chakra blocked. So make sure that you work on your third eye chakra. If you guys need guidance on how to open this chakra, please go to YouTube. There are many, many videos that will show you how to do that. Um, and then moving forward into your reading, I did get a very interesting reading. Um, it's, it's, it, it's part, starts off, maybe financial, goes into a little bit of love. So we'll see. It's very interesting. Um, so we got the two of wands and the regular tarot deck, uh, the two of wands is a waiting card this is when somebody's waiting for something here. On the other hand, I see it more as deep contemplation, deep concentration about what's your next move, which goes very, very, very tapped into the patience and planning and the holding your vision, okay? There's something that you guys are contemplating and looking very deeply into. You know, you're in that Virgo energy, Virgo mode, 
where you're thinking very deeply about what is the next steps that you guys want to do in your life, okay? I think you may be feeding a little bit on a waiting because you need to open your chakra, okay? You need to work on this. And that will give you the clarity you need to be able to see this, okay? And be able to give you the strength to, you know, hold that vision that you need to hold there. I don't know why I have the feel the need to, you know, emphasize on this a little bit, but, you know, I don't know, you know. But definitely you're in the Knight of Wands energy, okay? Uh, you are in the fight, you know, it's showing a little tired, you know, look at the guy here with the wand He's holding the wand and he's kind of tired. Um, but definitely in the fight, definitely moving forward and reaching near the end. Nines and tens are like towards the end of things. Um, okay. So definitely near the end there. Definitely, you know, seeing your vision going for a new beginning with the page of pentacles here, very earth Virgo card here, because, you know, obviously, you know, you've got the pentacle there and whatnot, you know, and you're in a very, you know, uh, fruitful, young energy, you know, with your pentacle here. This resembles, the page resembles a young person most of the time. And again, funny, you got the two of, two of wands, you get two of wands here too. However, what I'm seeing in this card, what I'm seeing in this card are two different things. Here, it's a deep contemplation. However, on this one, when we clarify it, it's more of wanting to go out there and win the world you know basically you know you guys got the world on your hands and you know you're wanting to move forward you know just looking off there and being like all right you know i'm ready for this you know and you definitely are and you definitely are good enough absolutely you're good enough for that so you know uh if you've been doubting yourself you know i know you guys may be feeling a little tired but uh don't you know move forward for it you know um, I did get, and this is where I think it falls into a little bit of the love story here, <laughs> because we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a lot of love, a lot of abundance. It could have been also, maybe you guys were in some kind of financial job or some kind of financial realm where you, where you were happy and you had a, a lot of love for what you were doing and perhaps maybe a tower moment came, you know? This time and moment could have had have been in a relationship, could have been in a financial and a job situation. You're wanting to move to calmer waters and very Virgo uh, also card with the chariot here. Um, so you're definitely wanting to uh, move forward on something. Also ca a cancer energy, actually. You're wanting to move forward on something. You know, you, you are moving forward. The chariot is the, you know, the car card. You know, it's basically movement, forward movement. So, you know, you are, you are moving forward from this, you know, tower energy here. Because you know, you're wanting to move to those calmer waters and, you know, have things, you know, calm on the other side. Very understandable. Um, because, of course, again, you know, after the tower, there was an ending. There was an ending of something. Whether, again, it was love or financial, there was an ending. And with that ending, you guys have been stressed out. You've been in your Knight of Swords energy, energy, not sleeping, staying up at night. You know, this isn't good. You've also been very locked in your head as well. You know, um, this is this is someone that's like, you know, they can, they, can, they can let themselves loose if they want. You know, but you're just up in your head, probably thinking this, probably thinking that you're not enough or you're not good enough about something, either about a love situation or maybe about a, about a job second guessing if you'll be able to do something or be able to achieve something and again you've been in that hangman mode you know trying to you know hang in here trying to see if you see something from a new perspective and uh you know you guys gotta get out of that stuck energy there because you are good enough you know i do see here uh this and the regular tarot is victory this is the six of wands so this is wanting to have victory towards something however here um some kind of message there's some kind of message uh with the wheel of fortune here there's changes that are going to be coming in you know i think luck is going to be on your side um somebody's wanting to come here with some kind of offer page of cups or you're wanting to go towards somebody with that offer however i do see it coming uh, i do see the, the page with the cup on this side so I think it's somebody wanting to offer you love. I think it's somebody wanting to come in to offer you some kind of some kind of offer here. Uh, two of Cups. This is soulmate energy. So definitely somebody that might have been your soulmate or something. 
very twin flame and uh definitely love situation you know coming up coming up here uh i do see here you got the queen of wands and clarifying that is the emperor the equal give and take which is the six of pentacles with a queen of swords so what this is telling me is that there was someone again this could be a fire sign uh, because queen of wands represents a fire sign okay but it could have been somebody that you had a lot of love for that perhaps there was not an equal give and take here and somebody got cut off this is a very libra gemini energy card and uh also a little aquarius as well aquarius can also be in this reading as well this is aries energy definitely fire sign so you know you guys may have fire sign in your chart you know even though you have earth you may have fire and you may have air in your chart as well for some of you but definitely there was you know there perhaps maybe you, somebody that you weren't ready to give love to in the past you weren't ready to share with in the past and that person just cut you off because the queen of swords is nothing gets by her a queen of swords is a very a very tough and she's been through a lot she's a very tough queen uh and uh yeah you know this emperor was not ready was not ready for this and maybe wasn't giving her what she needed what she needed uh I'm not seeing it because i'm not seeing a lot of threes reflected here this is why i'm not going that route but it also could have been a third party involved in the situation maybe it would have been a queen of wands and then that emperor and then that queen of swords maybe cut off the situation because you weren't giving in to something that can also be a scenario again i don't see the threes reflected here much so i'm not really going that route you know i'm going more towards the first option that i told you but definitely can be the case so somebody's wanting to rush in here heart is broken there's been a lot of heartbreak in this situation okay T definitely ten of wands here i mean that's it just reaching the end and just you know just going to be a breakthrough here you know i see the sun the sun is the it is the happiest card in the deck so if you get the sun that just means everything will definitely come to sunshine and definitely will shine for you okay so Virgo, whether it is your endeavors that you're wanting to pursue, whether it is a love situation, it is definitely going to work out here for you, okay? Um, just because of the read, I'm going to go ahead and go a little further today, and I'm going to go ahead and read on the angel cards. I'm going to pull out the angel cards, whatever spirit wants to say here for you. Uh, let's see what your advice is, okay? Um, my angels and spirits universe please come in and give me the advices that you have for virgo at this time stuck energy here see you guys are feeling stuck on something show me what do you have for virgo at this time show me the advices for virgo at this time thank you spirit you got two here right anything else spirit can you want to advise virgo for their movement forward for their highest good. Show me spirit. Right, yeah. Here we go. I'll take that one as well. So we do have three beautiful cards here. And let's see what our beautiful angels have to say regarding things. Alright. Hmm, yeah. Alright, well, <laughs> cute. Uh you have a yes so if you guys have question about anything it is a most definitely yes here so again you know whatever your vision is hold on to your vision you're good enough but it's a yes to move forward towards that take action you've got the take action card more clear than water this can be you know take action on your on your movement forward and guys something needs forgiveness so Perhaps maybe you need to forgive someone, maybe in this love situation here. Perhaps there needs to have a talk of communication and forgiveness on a situation, okay? 
So these are your cards for today, your messages. I hope this resonated for some of you. Again, if it didn't, let it go to the universe. It's okay. It'll resonate for somebody else, okay? I thank you very much. It was a pleasure to read for you guys. Um, and thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Virgo.